What's up Pisces and welcome to my channel where I do weekly pick a card readings that challenge you to explore all things growth. This is our Pisces energy reading. It is timeless so whenever you find this reading or whenever it finds you it is now your time to receive these messages. We have a thick stack here so sit tight, grab your tea, grab your snack and when you're ready let's grow. Six of summer. The love and care of children could become an important part of your life, or people from your childhood may return to it. Old memories can be healed, or possible old childhood dreams are ready to be revealed. Six of winter. The challenging times are coming to an end, and you now breathe a sigh of relief. Let the past go and embrace the happier times ahead. Last tarot. Nine of spring. You've worked hard. And what you've created is impressive and worthy of protecting. Annoying challenges may pop up, but don't worry. You'll get through them, just as you have in the past. So far, so good, Pisces. Um, I see a lot of togetherness, some harmony going on with the sixes, a lot of freedom happening, um, a lot of positive changes, but I do see some challenges. I see um, you sort of holding yourself back because of some past challenges. We got a lot of blue on here, so we have some communication that needs to be had. It is going to happen for a lot of you, Pisces, because um, some old people are going to be coming back in your life. Um, for some of you, it's because of the changes that are going on in your life, and you're not quite prepared because you're like a, you're in the space of what have you done for me lately, or what did you do to kind of get me to this point <laughs> space. But Spirit is asking you to kind of just um, heal from that and, and uh, reconnect with the people in your life. You've got the word challenges here twice, Pisces. So you've got some past challenges that you're trying to, that you need to let go of. And you have some new challenges that are just going to be little pop-up challenges that you're prepared for because of all of these past ch challenges that you've gone through before. As you can see, you've traveled pretty far to get where you are and where you're going. And where you're going, you don't even understand how far you're going to go. You have no idea how far you're going to go. Sorry about the echo. This is not my home. My husband snatched us off on a little staycation, so I'm in like a game room. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Do you see how the, um, Annoying challenges of this Nine of Spring matches the death card here. Let me focus you guys in. So like I was saying, um, the Nine of Spring is matching the death card here. Where you're learning that endings are merely beginnings. And these annoying challenges, for some of you, um, something's going to come to an end and it's going to be... Um, it's going to come to a halt really quick and it's going to um, be devastating for you, whether it be a, like a loss of a relationship or a loss of a job, but it's really going to slap you in the face and it's going to, um, um, it's going to put you, it's going to take you off your path for a little bit, but spirit is saying that you need to, you need to uh, take that time to heal with all this blue on the table. It's asking you to take that time to heal and meditate through this loss that you're going to be going through. 
It's going to be some of you, it's a job, some of you, it's a relationship, some of it's a friendship that you need to cut off so that you can move forward. And some of you, it's some resentment that you need to let go of so that these past relationships can be amended. These past relationships and this loneliness. Do you see how those colors are also blending? I know that I am never alone. The love and care could become an important part of your life. Or people from your childhood may return. Old memories can be healed. Mm -hmm. That word heal. So there's someone from your past that you're holding on to resentment. You either need to let that relationship go and heal from that, or you need to mend it. Commitment is being tested. Luck is on your side. Show the world the real you. Pisces. Your commitment is being tested, landing right in this blue, sp blue space, where usually that means prayer and meditation. That's um, telling me that a uh, spirit is saying that you're not connecting to the divine enough, that you really need to take some time to connect with your higher power and your higher spirit. In both of these cards, your moons, in both of these cards, your moons are only half full. can barely see it there so that means yeah you only got a quarter moon going there so that means there's a lot of darkness being shed and with all this blue on the table that's throat chakra that means um, communication meaning talking meaning telling meaning knowing <laughs> the truth so, um, this devastating loss for some of you is going to come from some past stuff that you thought you knew, but you're going to finally understand the truth about. And some of you, it's just a petty little truth that uh, is just going to set you off track. Take it how it resonates. Some of you, it's going to be devastating because it's going to dredge up some old past stuff that we really need to heal from anyway. So we really need to start healing from that right now anyway. So that when it does come up, we can already be in the space and be like, oh fuck, okay. Now I really gotta start healing. But yeah, connecting with the divine. The second message in this three card is um, showing the world the real you. How it's coming over here in this discipline um, and underneath here. Um, this loneliness is coming from you, Pisces. This feeling of loneliness is coming from you. And with these two purples blending together with the discipline, I can accomplish what I set my mind to and showing the world a real you is um, you're stuck in your crown chakra, your headspace, in your mind about what people might think about you when you put yourself out there so you're not putting yourself out there as much as you should. And um, Spirit is urging you to because love is on its way for some of you. But some of you really need to start putting yourself out there in the love department. This red, this red, luck is on your side.
I see a lot of passion coming your way once you start getting that confidence to put yourself out there more, Pisces. There's a lot we need to let go of, though. And something's coming to an end. Surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open up to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. All right, so all in your head. This belief that you can't have the things that you want is untrue. But you have to go for it. You gotta shoot your shot, Pisces. You can't just sit around. But you're not, though. I'm not getting that energy from you. So I take it back, I take it back. <laughs> you are ready to go. There's enough out there for everybody. Surrender to your idea you can fix someone. Okay, so this resentment that's coming from the past, this past stuff that's going to be coming back up that we need to heal from, this resentment that we're holding on to because of uh, this old relationship, you can't change that person. You're holding on to something and it's hurting you and it's not even hurting them. And you see how that falls right under death? How I was saying that you need to let go of something? It's kind of just telling you right here what needs to die. Is you believing that you can fix it? It is what it is, Pisces. Surrender to your comparisons with other people. I was just saying that earlier. Comparing your success with other people's. Or um, what other people are going to think about you when you uh, put yourself out there. Stop doing that. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strength, attractiveness, and power. Because you got all of that, Pisces. You got all of that. Let love grow. It's coming right back over here to that red, that look on your side. Love is coming. You got to let it in. You got to be ready and prepared for it. Are you? Because you, some of us need to uh, put some discipline into our minds and to our bodies. You belong to paradise. Okay. We have the six of summer, the six of winter, six. Meaning harmony, and I was saying that earlier. Needing some harmony in your life because of this six in the water tower was telling me that. You need some harmony in your emotions and in your mindset. Your mind is what's really blocking you, this uh, crown chakra area, the purple area, and the red area in your root. Um, you need to ground yourself more. You need to connect with um, nature more in your own body. You belong to paradise, this card says. And do you see you just going? You're just going. But what's blocking you is that purple in your mind, your crown. It's all in your head. You have a little bit in this throat area and some in the root.
There's another six. We're in desperate need of some balance and some harmony in our life. We really need to connect to the divine. We need to let love in. We need to stop thinking that we're not good enough. You need to meditate more and stop being afraid of your own mind when you sit there and meditate. That's what love the darkness means. You need to get used to all of that stuff that's going on in your head and start releasing what's not real and keeping what serves you. Wisdom. Right under the nine. And there's another six. So some of us need to educate ourselves more about this path that we're on. Some of us just need to learn a little bit more about this direction that we're going into. Darkness, there's that darkness again. Right on top of death. I really need you to see how this reading is talking to me, Pisces. Look at that beautiful blue hue. Where I was talking about the praying and the meditating. And then over here, I was saying sitting alone with our own thoughts is uncomfortable. But we, had, we have to get used to the darkness of our own thoughts, start getting rid of what doesn't serve us, start keeping what serves us, start gaining more knowledge of what really is serving us. See, look, that moon is getting a little bit more full. But look at that blue right here that's coming to once you finally realize that you can't fix that past stuff. And once you start realizing that you need to start letting new love in and you're never truly alone because your spirit guides are right there, your higher self is right there. And this new love is coming in fast. But once you figure that out, do you see how those colors just boom, blend together there in your moon? Look at it. We've got the four with structure. We have to really start getting used to the darkness that's going on in our own brain. We have to start understanding what's real and what's not. So this eclipse right here will go away and our moon will be full. Nice. So we've got a lot of head stuff a lot of past, I don't like to use the word trauma because it's triggering, but a lot of stuff we got to let go of. Attraction, eight. Loneliness. Attraction. That red hue. The love is a coming. The love is coming.
partnership. The love is a coming. <laughs> it's coming and it's back over here in this area, the love area. It's coming. Oh, I'm sorry. Allow healthful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career, and both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from the person who bring who brings needed skills and resources, yes. Because you need some more um, you need to be educated more on this path that you're on. You don't know a lot. That's why your moons are just all out of whack. You need a full moon. This one's eclipsed because you're afraid of this darkness that's in your head. It's not until you start start showing this yourself the real you and the world the real you to where you can get that full moon to where you really start knowing and understanding everything. You got to start letting love in and people into your life. Partnerships. Her with the baby, landing on her with the baby. Mm. Mm -mm. I mean, take it how it resonates, Pisces. Take it how it resonates. And this is getting on my nerves. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta fix it. <laughs> All right. bountiful nature where's that black mindset you live in a world of abundance you live in a world of abundance but it's your own headspace that's keeping you from thinking that you you do this purple area that's that crown chakra Spending time in nature helps shift you into a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or a hike with your pet. Meditate beneath the trees, garden, sit under the stars, or do some other activity to connect with the limitless vastness. Mm-hmm, Pisces. Limitless vastness. Successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom. Ooh, right on top of the nine, right next to the wisdom. Okay. With the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Mm hmm. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships. And other investments are available to you to help you. You think you can do everything all by yourself, Pisces. Right here, right here, you got someone with you. Over here in the loneliness, you got people with you, but that's just to kind of remind you that you're not alone. But in the other ones, you're alone in all of them. Here, alone, 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 alone. Uh-huh, let's see. Yes, yeah, okay. So, again, you're doing this to yourself, to yourself. Emergence, putting yourself out there. Shapes it, shape shifting. You gotta start transforming that cloudy mind. 
your head is all clouded. You got to start making some transform transformations in the brain. Creation, dream time. Mm -hmm. So we need a headspace that looks more like this. This blue crown chakra area that's messing with your creativity as well as the, uh, excuse me, throat chakra. The blue throat chakra area is messing with your creativity as well as your crown chakra is messing with your creativity as well. We need more colorful and not like just like dead purple and dead blues going on. You need to start getting more insight on what's going on with you. Higher thoughts. light there's that too back to that needing balance and flow and harmony in your life more light you have darkness you have light you have two for balance you have four for structure do you see how that's working out you have darkness and light you have two for balance and you have a four for structure. You are divinely guided. Inner calling. Show the world the real you. Emerge. Get out of this headspace and start doing what you need to do. Commitment. Love is in the air. Nine. Nine. Wisdom. Wisdom. That nine falling right on top of the wisdom. Over here with this wisdom. You're so smart, but you get in your own way. I love this connection, this togetherness right here. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's stop being afraid of commitment. We gotta start letting more love in, Pisces. Shutting people out, like giving people this cold shoulder and thinking that you can do everything all by yourself, it's got to stop. This tennis end, end, completion, finish. Because you're doing, you're, you're alone because of you. So this icy isolation that you put yourself in is because of you. And it's got to stop.
metamorphosis. Positive changes are coming. Positive changes. Oh, beautiful. I just love how the cards just line up so beautifully. Thank you, Spirit. I appreciate you. Sage. Be devoted and committed. That peacock. That's about love. That's about sexiness, hon. This fear of commitment. Some of you, it's a fear of commitment, and some of you, it's a fear of never getting it. You're not having it because you're not putting yourself out there, Pisces. Commitment, commitment, commitment. Trust your instincts. So get out of your head space and get back into your heart space. Know that you are divinely guided and you are on the right path. Released, release the old and rest. Mm -hmm. I was saying that earlier. I was saying that exact thing earlier. Releasing all that old garbage so you can let in new love. Inexperience. So, this fear of um, commitment comes from some of you not having the experience of like a really good relationship. And that's where that fear of thinking that you're not good enough for it or that you're never gonna get it comes from. It's because you never really have had that experience of being in one or maybe some of you have never really seen one. Maybe you guys have come from a broken home and maybe that's where this past stuff is coming from. And that's what's keeping you from really pushing through with this love. But it's coming. It's all around you. But you're blocking yourself from it. The past. Just creeping right up on you. Ten. Where'd that other ten go that said you needed to quit? Where'd that other ten go that said you needed to quit? I'm going to find it. Because you know how I just love throwing cards in your face. This icing people out. That ten. Because of the past. Seven. Metamorphosis seven. There was another seven, too. But um, you can create anything you want. I was saying that before. Look at how nurturing you are.
You are an earthly goddess, meaning you can create. Look at you, look at you. But you fucking around over here, Pisces. This is you. In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. Thank you for reiterating what I was saying earlier with this blue. In the prayer and the meditation. Thank you, Spirit. I appreciate you. Energy flows where my intentions go. So you could be met because you are a creator. Because you got straight up Mother Earth vibes, Pisces. Because you are a creator, you need to be careful with this headspace, this purple chakra. Because everything you think, whatever energy you put out, you can create, you can make happen. So really pay attention. My vibes speak louder than my words. But with this throat chakra going on, your words need to be speaking louder too, hon. <laughs> okay? I am surrounded by unconditional love and harmony each day spirit is in the house you need to be saying that to yourself every day i am receiving limitless gifts from the universe each day I am a brilliant, energetic being of limitless ideas and potential. Where'd you go, girl? Where did you go? There you are. Wisdom, 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 wisdom. Sorry about that. My baby decided to get up at 6.30 in the morning. So she's sitting behind me eating some goldfish crackers and some grapes. So anyways, I'm loving the way that this is ending. It's just solidifying everything that I'm saying. So we got three cards left, Pisces. These are miracles. If I want to feel supported, I must support myself. By spreading loving energy, I attract more love. Mm -hmm. When I honor my feelings, I find my power in powerless situations. Very nice, very nice. Well, let's go back to these three. Let's go ahead and end it on a great note. 
I am surrounded by unconditional love and harmony each day. Let's get that harmony and balance cracking. Let's let love in. Let's let go of all that past stuff. I am a receiving... I am receiving limitless gifts from the universe each day. Let's believe in the abundance and the bountiful nature that is all around us. I am a brilliant, energetic being with limitless ideas and potential. Yes, you are. All right, Pisces. Let me know if this reading resonated with you. I love to hear from you guys in the comments. It is completely free to subscribe to join my tribe, so go ahead and hit that subscription button. If this reading was valuable to you, please hit that thumbs up so that the YouTube world know that it's valuable as well. And until next time, be mindful of your growth. Watch them grow, perceive default. Light the show, watch them work.